Hello, and welcome to the York County Library Flower Pot Toadstool Tutorial. Here are the supplies we used for this project. You'll need a terracotta or other material pot and saucers, acrylic paint, paint brushes, varnish or acrylic sealer, and suggested is a table covering and a sponge for designs. So our first step is to paint a base coat on the inside and outside of the pot and saucers. And we did that off camera earlier so that our base coat is dry. We have two saucers because we will stack them to create a taller toadstool cap. So what I'm doing now is painting my first coat of paint on the saucers. The bottoms of the saucers will be the top of the mushroom. So don't worry about painting the underside because you won't see that when you put it on top of the pot. Okay, so my first coat of paint is dry and I'm showing you how you'll stack the saucers on the pot to make them look like a toadstool. As you can see, the underside of the mushroom caps I left unpainted, but feel free to paint them if you'd like. So acrylic paint dries pretty quickly. So off camera, I painted my second coat of paint and now I'm making a design on the top of my toadstool by using a sponge and I'm making the caps look mossy. So this is where you have fun with it. You might want to do polka dots, or you might want to do moss, or maybe your mushroom cap has stripes. The next thing I'm doing is drawing a rough sketch of the design I want on the body of my toadstool. You can skip this step and just leave it a solid color, or you can add a landscape scene. I chose to design a little toadstool house, complete with a door and mailbox. And here I am painting. So I'm just filling in details and I'm painting little designs on my mushroom. I even included mushrooms on my toadstool, mushroomception. I did some grass at the bottom, filling in my mailbox. The next thing I did was paint the background. And I made a mistake because I didn't like how this turned out. So in the next clip, you'll see how I ended up painting it. So now I'm just adding little details, a butterfly and some more depth to the grass. And here's my finished product. I really like how this one turned out. I like the moss on the cap a lot. And here's the toadstool from the beginning of the video. As you can see, I did polka dots on this one. It has a red cap, and here are some of the little details. So here's a quick bonus round. We had this extra little pot, so I painted a mini toadstool with a green polka dot cap. So here's this finished one, and then here are all three toadstools together. All right, here's the step-by-step -step instructions. Feel free to pause this. Um, the most important thing is step five. We didn't show this, but remember to varnish. How will you design your toadstool? 